All got new tattoos a half hour ago. Tori was the only one in the tattoo place, so I felt safe getting the symbol of abnegation, a pair of hands, palms up as if to help someone stand. Bounded by a circle, on my right shoulder. I know it was a risk, especially after all that's happened. But that symbol is a part of my identity, and it felt important to me that I wear it on my skin. I step up on one of the barrier's crossbars, pressing my hips to the railing to keep my balance. This is where Al stood. I look down into the chasm, at the black water, at the jagged rocks. Water hits the wall and sprays up, misting my face. Was he afraid when he stood here? Or was he so determined to jump that it was easy? Christina hands me a stack of paper. I got a copy of every report the erudite have released in the last six months. Throwing them into the chasm won't get rid of them forever, but it might make me feel better. I stare at the first one. On it is a picture of Janine, the erudite representative. Her sharp but attractive eyes stare back at me. Have you ever met her? I ask Will. Christina crumples the first report into a ball and hurls it into the water. Janine? Once, he replies. He takes the next report and tears it to shreds. The pieces float into the river. He does it without Christina's malice. I get the feeling that the only reason he's participating is to prove to me that he doesn't agree with his former faction's tactics. Whether he believes what they're saying or not is unclear, and I am afraid to ask. Before she was a leader, she worked with my sister. They were trying to develop a longer-lasting serum for the simulations, he says. Janine's so smart you can see it even before she says anything. Like a walking, talking computer. What? I fling one of the pages over the railing, pressing my lips together. I should just ask, what do you think of what she has to say? He shrugs. I don't know. Maybe it's a good idea to have more than one faction in control of the government. And maybe it would be nice if we had more cars and fresh fruit and... You do realize there's no secret warehouse where all that stuff is kept, right? I ask my face getting hot. Yes, I do, he says. I just think that comfort and prosperity are not a priority for abnegation. And maybe they would be if the other factions were involved in our decision making. Because giving an erudite boy a car is more important than giving food to the factionless. I snap. Hey now, says Christina, brushing Will's shoulder with her fingers. This is supposed to be a light-hearted session of symbolic document destruction. Not a political debate. I bite back what I was about to say and stare at the stack of paper in my hands. Will and Christina share a lot of idle touches lately. I've noticed it. Have they? All that stuff she said about your dad, though, he says, makes me kind of hate her. I can't imagine what good can come of saying such terrible things.